people YouTube today I'm going to be talking about infinite tracks and um, how to kind of build this deck so um, interesting part about this deck um, one of the better ways to kind of do it is mix it with um, trains it works pretty decently the level 10 um, earth launchers actually support the deck very well so two flying pegasus um, this card very important and I'm going to explain why I'm actually using two flying pegasus over this one um, the reason why is this one special summon from the graveyard while the other one special summon from your hand and it's only an infinite track while this is any earth machine so it just it gives a lot more plays and versatility to the deck um, free heavy train um, Doran um, special summon itself so it helps you go for your link plays and just makes a lot of things way more consistent for the deck um, Two cranes. Crane is very good because it lets you search the continuous spell card, which uh, works as a rank of magic. And then crane just um, it's a nice level five. It's not horrible. It's not great, but not horrible at the same time. Um, you so that um let's see free harvests this is probably the more important one the more important card this is actually a target for machine dupe and um if you're there are ways in the graveyard where you can special summon him he does target the level just like the flying and allows you to um um basically make the two monsters have the same level so you can use it with the crab cr crab crane you can make both of them level seven Go into a rank 7, then rank it up for a rank 9. 2 treasure. Um, this one actually has the ability to uh, advance itself from the graveyard to Monster Reborn, one of your um, infinite tracks, as long as it's a, one that is level 5 or lower. Which I believe that's all of them. Um, I really made this deck more for going second and being able to make plays with um, potential negates because that's just how like trains and a lot of these um, machines aggress ag very aggro decks work. Two lefty driver. I play two because I don't I like to make sure I can still use from my deck so I can have my discard fodder the way I need it for these decks but um, a lot of people like keeping their garners at one but Play your garnets how you want to play your garnet. This is how I play my garnets. Um, two night um, express, two night express knights. Um, basically, just use them with Swiss Yard level ten normal summon, special summon one of the four level fours in our deck, and we'll go for an instant rank ten and hopefully try to game our opponent. Free righty driver. Um, this is coming out tomorrow in dual power. Really important cards is righty and lefty. I think a lot of people are going to like it. Two uh, roughly and rail cards. Um, basically, just more consistency. It lets you add one of the seven monsters that it can search from your deck to your hand. So, um, helps. Not, not a bad card to look at at the end of the day. Um, two bullet trains. Um, you're never going to use it for attack effect. The reason why we use it is it's actually like a free special summon almost as the same as the heavy train because all you have to do is have all your monsters be earth machine monsters and you can special summon it also does a warrior returning alive effect uh, free machine duplications um, self-explanatory you use it with harvest and you can use it with right driver and worst case scenario so just um, give you two more monsters, always good. Two Magnet Reverse, um, lets you revive some of these cards, which um, can be pretty useful if you're trying to go for the higher uh, link plays. Two um, Out Trigger Extension, this is um, the rank up card that also prevents your XYZs from being targeted, so it's pretty useful. It just helps the deck. Free Revolving Switch Yards. Um, again, it's just to help the deck with its consistency because you can discard any of your cards um, and then you get your level 10. So now you have your rank, uh, your uh, fodder for link plays and you can try to just um, keep on extending. 
and pounding like just take advantage of the deck. Two twin twister, as I said, going second. Um wanting to make sure there's nothing stopping me as much as possible. Um two barrage blasts. The reason why two is this is kinda of like a fire lake card. Um while normal trains can't play this, this deck is almost always going in on XYZs that you can't don't really are going to have the option to use all their um, material, so um, Barrage Blast actually has that potential in here, and also the effect damage sometimes useful. Free loss win, um, just a good discard. One for the extra deck, one um, El Sadal Sidonaga, um, obviously our side deck, um, we're playing the Sadal engine. reason why I don't feel like it um, um, is worth it in the main deck is because you don't know if you're going first, and you don't know if you're dealing with um, people who are actually summoning from their extra deck, so that's a problem. One Earth Slicer, um, rank 9 actually is pretty decent, um, definitely would recommend it. Um, they all have this effect where you contribute a uh, machine link monster to special summon them from the graveyard. Um, and then the link monster has support. Um, two smash, one smasher. He's the level seven. Um, he detached to gain a thousand. The first the nine blows up cards, and this one has a rota effect. Um, so very good. One Draco sack. One sky palace. Um, Garuna. Why the sky palace and not the other ones is because we're pro. I'm. Thinking of the idea of we're going to immediately rank it up to discard. Um, and why I say that? Because blow up, deal dows, and rank it up, attack for 4k. It's not a bad play. It's a little bit better than having a monster that's unaffected or the other set, etc. Untrue King, because um, even though Flying Pegasus, Flying Pegasus does not limit you to being locked into anything like a attribute a type and you use this switch yard discard effect you're still not being locked into anything so tell me the truth king of calamities can be an auto win against a lot of decks so i'm just kind of putting it in for the sake of if you summon it you can probably win um one um double header anger knuckler i wish this card was out in the tcg because if it would this would actually make infinity tracks possibly playable but without it I don't think it's playable just because this monster really boosts the consistency. Um, one Megalops, really good. It just had that monster reborn for XYZ that then you get to take a monster and use it to material and unaffected by everything but XYZ. Really good. Free Goliath, uh, it's a link one that you can literally just summon multiple times with your. Um, infinity, and then it just helps you. It has a like a nice little loop with the XYZ, not great, but it does. One genius and one under clock taker. So that's the um, infinite uh, track deck for you guys. I hope you guys um, kind of get how it's working. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm hoping everything makes sense. Have yourself a great day. See you guys again. Bye.